You are heading an international effort to save Earth from an asteroid heading toward us at 11 kilometers per second. Your team mounts a rocket on the asteroid and fires it for 10 minutes, after which the asteroid is moving at 23 kilometers per second at 33 degrees to its original path. Assume that the positive x-axis is in the direction of the initial motion of the asteroid and y-axis is perpendicular to it. In a news conference, what do you report for the acceleration imparted to the asteroid? Express your answer using two significant figures. All right, let's draw a picture. Here's Earth. The asteroid is heading towards Earth at 11 kilometers per second. And after 10 minutes, it's going somewhere over here, 33 degrees from its original path, going 23 kilometers per second. And we know that the time is 10 minutes, and converting that to seconds is 600 seconds. And we will need velocity in meters per second since our answer will be in meters per second. So 11 kilometers per second is the same as 11,000 meters per second. And 23 kilometers per second is 23,000 meters per second. You're going to need to do this problem in two parts the x direction and the y direction, and then our answer will be acceleration in the x, comma, acceleration in the y. So we'll have two numbers as our answer. So let's first think about the x direction. So v1, it's moving at initial speed of 11 meters per second, and that's only in the x direction since it is pointing directly towards the earth and in the problem it states the positive x-axis is the direction of the initial motion. So v1 in the x direction is 11,000. And then v2 in the x direction, we'll need to do trigonometry to figure out the x component of the second velocity. Here is our vector for the v2, 23 thousand and this angle is 33 and to complete our triangle let's put that there this is a right angle so right here is the x direction and then right here is the y direction but we'll do that in the next part so we're just worrying about the pink highlighted region and that will be v2 in the x direction. So to find the length of this part, we need to use trig. That side is adjacent to the angle, so we can use cosine. Cosine of 33 equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And then solving for x or v2, we will get 19,289. And then we use the equation v1 plus at equals v2. 11,000 plus a times 600 is t equals 19,289. Solving for a, which is in the x direction, and Rounding it to two significant fingers, we get 14 meters per second squared. Now let's do the y direction. So our initial velocity in the y direction is zero because it's only moving in the x direction. And then v2 will now be this blue highlighted part. We can solve for that using trig as well. And we will use sine sine of 33 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So y or v2 in the y direction will equal 12,527. 
and we'll use the same equation, V1 plus AT equals V2. V1 is 0, plus A600 equals 12,527. Solve for A in the y direction and you and rounding it to two sig figs equals 21 meters per second squared. So our final answer ax comma ay will equal 14 comma 21 meters per second squared.